Hello students, welcome class 4 to your e-learning computer class. Uh, previous class, we have completed chapter number 7, book exercise. Chapter number 7, book exercise and short answer type question also completed. Today I want to start a new chapter. Today I want to start a new chapter, writing procedure. Chapter number 8 and page number 101. So you all please take out your computer book and follow me listen to me writing procedure what do you mean a procedure means how to write a program that is uh, that is called a procedure that means the word procedure refers to the method of doing a particular task method refers to <coughs> procedure uh, it refers to the method of doing a particular task that means what do you mean by the procedure the procedure refers to the method of doing a particular particular task. In logo, procedure is a set of logo commands. What is procedure in logo? In logo, procedure it's a set of commands. Set of commands. How to write a program? Okay. Now, given one after the another, perform a particular task. Given one after another to perform a particular task. A procedure should always be a given a name. When we write a program, always when we write a procedure, first we have to give a name of this procedure. Suppose you want to draw a circle. You want to draw a square. First you have to give the procedure name. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, the commands given in the input box to draw a square. The command given in the input box to draw a square can be given a name square. You can, if you want to draw a square, you can give the name of the procedure square. S Q U A R D. Once you have defined a procedure, once if you have defined the procedure, and you can execute it by typing its name. If you execute the name of the procedure. Once you execute, once you just define the procedure and you can exit, execute this procedure by typing its name. By typing its name, you can execute the procedure. Okay. Input box and press the enter key. You have to write the input box, the name of the procedure. If you, once if you have uh, just define a procedure. You can execute any time in it just input box. You just write the procedure name and then press the enter key. Okay. A procedure contains three essential part. A procedure have three essential part. One is title line. Uh, that means a procedure has three essential part. One is title line and next is body. And then is, and the next one is end line, title line, then body, and then end line, and then end line. What is the title line? Uh, that means a procedure have three parts. One is title line, then body, then end line. What is title line? In the title line, you have to give the name of the procedure you have to give the name it defines the name of the procedure it always starts with the word to it always start with to when you write and when you will give a name of the procedure always it starts with to to square if you want to make a square then you can keep the name of the procedure square but before the square you have to write to to okay and the next is body body it contains all the primitive required to draw or calculate if you want to draw a square that means uh, the primitives you have to write if you want to make a square or if you want to calculate that means it contains all the primitives required to draw the square whatever primitive you have to use to draw a square you have to write that this primitive in the body okay and then is end line End line means, that means it understood. If the end line is given, that means your procedure is completed. Right? Even every procedure ends with the word end. Every procedure end line will 
uh, start with end e n d end it confirms at the end word you have to use the word end that means it confirm that your procedure is completed the end word that means your procedure is completed okay it confirms that the primitive for the desired work is over that end means the primitive for the desired work is over okay and rules to define the procedure name you have to follow some rules to give the name of the procedure what to write a procedure name we must keep contain points in mind we have to keep this point in our mind when you give the name of a procedure what are they a procedure name has a combination of symbols numbers and letters or a alphabet but the first character of a procedure name must always be a letter that means when you give the name of a procedure the first letter of the procedure should be a letter the first character should be a letter okay a procedure name has a combination of it may be any symbol you can use any numbers any letter you can uh, or uh, letters or alphabet but first character of a procedure character means first one each and everything we can uh, uh, treat as a e n d end e is a character n d is a character d is a character it in a computer language it is called a character each and every uh, word it may be a number it may be a symbol it may be a word any it, it may be a uh, anything it's treated as a if you use the space space is also a character now here the but uh the first character of the procedure name must always be a letter always be a letter next is a procedure name cannot have an arithmetic operator and a blank space when you give write a procedure name there should not be a any blank space a procedure name cannot have an arithmetic operator and you cannot use any arithmetic operator to write a procedure name and and any blank space no blank space okay when you write the when you write the name of a procedure obviously you have to give the two you have to write two and then procedure name okay a logo command cannot be used as a procedure name and logo command you cannot use fd you cannot give the name of the procedure okay that means logo command cannot be used as a procedure name and procedure are saved in a computer memory as a part of logo parts of logo work space a procedure are saved in the computer memory as a part of logo work space okay define a procedure using the input box this is the input box this is the input box and you have to write the input over here you all please follow your book you can understood this is the input box here you write the input input written and here is gives a space and next two button is there if you want to after writing this okay or cancel okay anything first your cursor is there whatever you will write first input you have to give the name of the procedure okay click in the input box you have to click in the input box to uh, type two followed by the procedure name you have to type two because when first you have to give the name of the procedure before the name of the procedure you have to type two two followed by the procedure name in the input box for example two square two square or here is given in capital letter okay no problem here and press the enter key and you can press the enter key here or you can press the okay also no con no problem a new dialog box two mode will open now a new dialog box when you click the enter key and two mode will appear start typing primitives one after another by pressing the enter key by pressing the enter key to square and then here you just put one after one after if you want to draw a square that means you have to write the primitive primitive you can use the repeat command and using this fd and rt command you can make a square fd 100 rt 90 fd 100 rt 90 one by one press the enter key one primitive and the enter key in this manner you just write down the body of the procedure okay start typing primitive one after another by pressing the enter key 
when all the primitives are entered type end when all the primitives are written now it's you all please follow over here this is the editor here one by what two square the name of the procedure then fd 100 rt 90 fd 100 rt 90 fd 100 rt 90 fd 100 rt 90 and then last is written end 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 means the procedure is over okay now end okay you can see and uh, to execute the procedure type the name of the procedure in the input box if you want to run execute the procedure in the input box you have to write the procedure name when you write the procedure name only you have to type the name of the procedure no need to write to execute the procedure type the name of the procedure in the input box in in the input box you just write the name of the procedure what the name of the procedure here is square you just write the square and press the enter key and then you can see on the screen there is a square okay editing the uh, note down you will uh, notice that the result can be seen on the main screen on the main screen we can see there is a square and the command box depends upon on the commands okay <coughs> of the command box depending upon the commands obviously now editing the procedure using the editor window from the editor window we can editing the suppose we have done some mistake when you write a procedure you can edit this okay to edit the already created procedure obviously which one we edit which one is existed that one we can edit now show that to edit the already uh, created procedure follow the given step in the input box type edit in the input box you have to type e d i t edit uh, edit and then procedure name edit and the procedure name if you want to edit in square this procedure just type the name of the procedure edit and then procedure name for example edit square edit edit if you want to edit just write down edit e d i t space and square is q u a r e and then the editor window appears this is the editor window you can see this is the editor window here we can see all the primitives over here you can see all the primitives over here uh, the editor window appears leave a space after leave a space after edit and no space between the quote and the name of the procedure a procedure name you have to give you have to write in this manner in a quote in a quote you have to write the name of the procedure edit quote and then uh, procedure the edit window appear and leave a space after the edit and no space between the quote and the name here no space quote and the procedure name okay but here edit and then a gap space okay better write and edit the primitive between the two procedure name and the end command anywhere you can edit anywhere where you want to need you can edit this part running the procedure how to run the procedure you can run the procedure running the procedure to run the procedure you have to type the name of the procedure in the input box if you want to run the procedure that bit execute if you want to execute the procedure run the procedure you have to type the name of the procedure in the input box followed by pressing after the first in the input box type the name of the procedure and then press the enter key it will automatically get executed okay you can see on the screen saving the procedure how to save your procedure after writing a procedure if you want to use the repeatedly we can save it how to save it saving the procedure the procedure in the logo is stored in primary memory it's stored always in the primary memory which is volatile in nature which is volatile in nature for future use you need to save it in a secondary memory for the future when we once you write it's uh, primarily it is saved in a volatile memory okay if you permanently if you want to for the future use we have to save it and you need to save it in the secondary memory if, if you keep anything in a secondary memory next time you can get it otherwise if when you write it's a, a power off if when you switch off the machine if it is in a primary memory it it will be deleted so you should keep in a secondary memory for further using for further use there are two different ways to save in a secondary memory note that all logo procedure are saved with dot lgo when you save it 
you have to give the name obviously and uh, it will save in dot l g o my that means it is a logo program okay uh, note that all logo procedure are saved with dot l g o extension this is called the extension this is the logo extension save a command in the input box how to save procedure name and then press the enter key uh, to save procedure name you have to write the name of the procedure suppose you want to save the square note that name of the procedure must be placed by a double quote for example save square save save is in a double quote is q u a r e save the workspace i uh, was no and uh, here the procedure name and uh, note that the name of the procedure must be placed over the uh, shape then square obviously you have to use this command shape then space then double quote shape then space in a double quote write down square and then it will be and then obviously you have to press the enter key save and then space double quote and square this and then press the enter key then your procedure will self your self and the another way save option from file manager click on the file tab and the another way also you can save for if you want to save it in a secondary memory then one way save command space double quote procedure name another way click the file menu file tab you have to click on the file tab there is a option here is a file tab there is option save define the name of the file name text box and click the on the save button and then you just write the name uh, file name which name you want file you want to save square you just write the square and save button and click on the save button your file will be saved and then how to loading our procedure how to loading our procedure once the procedure is saved you can run it any time once you have saved the square this procedure you can use it any time how to load this then then you have to apply the which command load load once the procedure is saved you can run it any time for the hard disk to memory to do this load command is used which command if you want to use l o a d l o a d this command is used and uh, type load and the procedure name load then procedure name s q u a r e obviously in a double quote load space double quote square and then obviously press the enter key always you have to press the enter key and now uh, or click on the file tab this is one way load command using the load command load space double quote square then again execute this command or another way click on the file tab and msw logo screen and click the load option and open window will appear on the screen locate the desired procedure and click on the open and which one you want to open you just select this one and click on open in this way you can open and now erasing a procedure if you want to erase suppose you feel that no need to save it so you can erase this procedure we can erase a procedure by following given step erase space procedure erase command using the erase command you can use erase command e r a s e using the erase command erase and square obviously using the erase command you can erase the procedure okay erasing to erase a procedure by following the git to erase any command type erase type erase then procedure in a double quote procedure name in the input box and then press the enter key obviously you have to press the enter key the example erase space double quote and procedure name then press the enter key a logo will delete the procedure then you can delete the procedure from the logo logo will delete the procedure after that if you try to run the procedure it will display an error message after deleting if you want to run the procedure again if you run the procedure load 
and square then what message will show if you erase this procedure suppose you erase erase square erase now you want to ex run then you have to use load square then what message one error message will show then it will display an error message i don't know how to draw square i don't know i don't know how to draw square this show that the procedure has been deleted that means the procedure has been deleted for today this much next class i will discuss repeat command okay thank you beta thank you have a nice day bye all of you